and hello everyone welcome back to a new video all right so today we will be doing sort We're just going to sort a few things and nothing too big you know so let's say we want to sort this whole thing by the learner name in this case it's already sorted by the learner number as you can see it starts at one and ends at wherever this is 106 so let's try and sort it by the learner name and uh, yeah so let's go sort so we can go with dmcon do tblmusic.sort and it's going to take in what we want to sort by and how we want to sort it so this is where we get to ascending and descending if I'm correct ascending that would be from 1 to to wherever I don't know and uh, descending would be from wherever to 1 you know so this is up this is down so let's try and do the names so we're going to go learn a name and we're going to sort it by ascending and to sort by ascending all you have to do is you just have to go ASC or ASC but ASC is best so now if I'm correct and ascending is from small to big then we should have all the A's up here yes Albert, Alex, Anil, Ashley, all of those people. Now, what if we were to remove this, you ask? Well, nothing much. It just automatically sorts by ascending. And then, of course, if you want to do it other way, you can just go descending. There you go, from Z to A. Now, you might be like, but what if they have the same name, but not the same surname? Now, that's a good question, because how would you know which one to show first? Usually this would not matter in a normal scenario, but in this scenario it does. So let's go in learner surname. So this is all you have to do to order it. Basically it's going to order by learner name. If it finds a duplicate, it's going to order by learner surname. So you sort now it does that. So this is how you sort with more than one thing at hand. And that is literally all there is to sorting, or at least most of it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And uh, see you all in the next one.